Imagine a world where the government threatened people with imprisonment if they didn't send their own children to school. What? That's, that's already a thing? That's fucking stupid. Well, at least the government doesn't have controlled monopoly on the education system. Are you fucking joking? Well, at least studies show that this model is undoubtedly effective in both quality and cost. Rough. Fuck a fucking dick! Not to worry though, boys and girls, it's not all doom and gloom. It's not as if exposure to hundreds of dysfunctional, abusive and traumatised children on a daily basis is going to have long-term adverse effects. So grab your shit-packed lunch and cheap knock-off shoes as I tell you why I hate public schools. So it's lunchtime and you're with your mates minding your own business trying to get a sneaky peek up some girl's skirt when some big cunt walks into you with his elbow. Hi, Tyler! Watch we all fuck a go, you retard. He sneers menacingly. You turn around double time to get a glimpse of this most refined gentleman. And who does it turn out to be? The local friendly neighbourhood bully. And obviously, like most school bullies, he shares the same basic characteristics. A big fat cunt with low IQ, crippled by insecurities and suppressing internalised trauma from abusive parents, causing unbridled borderline sociopathic tendencies. That was a fucking mouthful. But you don't have time to psychoanalyse big old bully bollocks over here because you're too busy shitting your pants and wondering which one of your retarded mates you can outrun. Now out of all the outdated or really dumb shit subjects that are taught in schools, <coughs> women's studies, <laughs> nothing quite reaches the prestigious level of utter retardation more than RE. Essentially a subject about all the different fairy tales that people across the world shove down their children's throats, Catholic priests very much included, no other subject amounts such tenacious defiance from the students during class more than religious education. Not only is the subject a pathetic attempt to spread the virtues of multiculturalism and tolerance, but the teachers themselves are often the most inadequate, feeble and disenfranchised waste of taxpayers' monies that I've ever had the misfortune of meeting. Now, for fear of righteous backlash from everyone, we're going to conform to the accepted narrative about all public sector employees. Woo, go you! Thank you for your service, hard work and dedication. Obviously, it wasn't the job security, pension, status and lack of competition that attracted you to the job. It's just that you're a fucking saint. Now, with that one out of the way, nothing can ruin your day at school more than a shithouse of a teacher. You know the type. Angry, short-tempered, self-righteous with a side order of authority complex, as if they spent their entire childhood reading Mein Kampf. Need the toilet during class? How fucking dare you! Late to class? Die you worthless piece of shit! Ask the person next to you a question. Ex fucking excuse me! I am the one speaking here! I am the centre of the universe! If I catch you speaking again, I will cut your fucking bollocks off and feed them to you, you little cunt! Oh, I'm sorry, you old decrepit, saggy-breasted wench. I completely forgot the part where he had any choice to come to this shitty school and get taught by mine fucking you know how all government programs are synonymous with brutal efficiency and are backed by comprehensive studies? Of course you fucking don't. Homework is to quality as feminism is to equality. If school was a government, then homework would be MP living expenses. If homework was a porn star, it would be called... Well, I think you get that fucking idea. Oh, hey there, little deco. Are you off home to spend some time with your family? Maybe Papa can teach you how to run a business. I don't think so, you little cunt. You've got some useless geography homework to do. I don't even think about not doing it, or you'll find your fucking ass in detention, you bourgeoisie scum. If you're gonna bend me over and fuck me, at least make it interesting. With public schools being the zenith of creativity that they are, you're probably thinking to yourself, But Deco, surely you can't conceive of any unfavourable comments towards the actual classes themselves? And to that I would say, go fuck yourself! So instead of just outright lampooning them, I've taken a moment to create a suitable advert for the Department of Education to use for free. You're welcome. Do you have a particular passion? Want to hone your craft in one particular area? Want to learn important skills such as self-knowledge, philosophy and logic? Tough titties, motherfucker! You're going to learn upwards of 10 subjects, most of which will be fucking useless to you and half of them will be taught to you with about as much enthusiasm as an ADM call girl on BABE STATION. But wait, there's more! You're going to be sat in a small, grey, suicide-inducing classroom with around 30 other souls who are slowly slipping into a coma. All the while, the single teacher is hanging on by a thread, dreaming about their pension as they sap the curiosity and imagination from the class and use it as energy to counter the early onset aging caused by socialized edumacation. It's a demo,